Tink and I hit the bus mainly between things this past week. I had work and whatnot, and then she has been consumed with some woodworking projects using one inch diameter sticks. Interestingly, the sticks can also be used to <laughs> oh my God, beat on my cabinets. So when I was out there, I mainly tackled smaller odd jobs. For instance, the bathroom was missing a piece of paneling, so I got busy scribing that arc of the ceiling, this time reusing a piece of cardboard I'd used before, and it only needed a little bit of tuning up. The fridge cabinet also got some internal walls just to make things right. Norcold still has not called offering me a fridge to feature on the bus, but a man can dream. Now, I'm just gonna say that I have a gripe with two things in the state of the plumbing world. One is wax rings on toilet flanges, and the other is plumber's putty. Both of them have you relying on some kind of natural goo, like wax or putty, to make a watertight seal, and neither really has progressed much in decades. And so I was not surprised to find my tub of plumber's putty dry and crusty. Fortunately for me, the El Cheapo drain that came with the stainless steel kitchen sink I installed had a gasket for a seal, so no desiccated putty required. I also fiddled some with the waistline down below, which I'm not showing you because it's not yet done, and I installed the faucet, this is another freebie, and wrapped up the hot and cold water lines. I also realized that if you open the window behind the kitchen sink, you can easily hang the sprayer out the window. Outdoor shower maybe? Or a campground water fight? Only time will tell. Now what you're about to witness probably should have been edited out of this video, but I'm showing it because it includes a kind of personal first for me. After locating a spot for the toilet paper dispenser, and you've got to get these things in just the right spot. I performed my first ever use of a power tool while sitting on the toilet. And the moment was made more precious by the fact that it was the new battery operated jigsaw Melissa gave me for my birthday. Only on the prison bus. And then someone emailed me asking if I wanted to check out some neodymium magnetic hooks. And because I got the hooks for free, I'm probably biased, but I do really like them and think they'll be cool for curtains and other little doodads on the bus. It may be true that people who live in glass houses should not throw stones, but people who live in metal buses should use magnets. I'll put a link to these magnetic hooks down below in the description just in case you're interested. All right, so next up was paneling my way down the bus. I had to add a bit more bracing where my paneling pieces were meeting each other and the outlet locations needed to be marked and cut out. And then the front wheel bump needed some more scribe action to get that piece of paneling just right.
With the paneling in place, I'll be able to install my last two units, which are a little different than the others because they go on top of the paneling. Uh, one is a fold up kitchen table that I mentioned before. And then the other is this front couch thing that's gonna convert into a bed and hopefully also have a jump seat next to the driver. I've been working on the designs for both of these guys, but still don't quite have them figured out. I'm guessing my next video will show at least one of these builds. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Everyone who watches these videos just keeps me super motivated, so thank you. You can follow me and Tink on Instagram, where I post previews of upcoming videos, and then also on Patreon, where I talk about my projects kind of like you would on a blog.